So how many one fourth cups does it take to make one third cup? So here's how you can figure that out. My guess is this is more of a school math question, but uh, you might need to do it in the kitchen. Let's try it. Let's take one fourth. We have one fourth, which is one part of four. We have one, two, three, four. So there's our one fourth. And over here we have one part of three. So it's a little bit difficult to figure out just looking at it, how many of these can fit into this one, but one and a little bit more. So let's do the math way to solve this problem. Basically, we're taking one third cup and we want to know how many times one fourth goes into it. So we're going to divide one third by one fourth. And instead of division, what we can do here is we can get rid of our division and we can actually use multiplication here. But we need to multiply by the reciprocal of one fourth. So we're going to move the one here down to the bottom and the four, we'll move that up where the numerator goes. Now it's a little bit easier because we're going to take one times four, that equals four, and then three times one equals three. So we end up with four thirds. So one fourth cup, we need four thirds of a one fourth cup to make one third cup. Yeah, let's change it to a mixed number. Three goes into four, one times three is three with one left over, and then we can just bring the three across. So you need to take your fourth cup measure here, take one of them, and then take one third of that, and that'll equal one third cup. Yeah, it's probably a school math problem. <laughs> All right, this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.